Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthers. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Maelstrom in the level 4 Guff Custom. I believe that puts it at cost 500. I'm pretty sure I see a 7th Gundam there, so that sounds right. Uh, the Guff Custom got buffed a while back, and uh, I forget the specifics because it was probably 6 months ago or more, but I had been trying to get a decent round with it forever and just never quite got it done, but... Luckily, Maelstrom has done, so we can take a look. Goof Custom is a raid. It has a really good Gatling gun, a decent melee strength, and one of the uh, very linear wire-based heat rods, So, which can be kind of difficult to land, especially since the Goof Custom version is a fair bit slower, I want to say, than most uh, of the uh, newer versions. But yeah, it has a three-hit melee combo. Uh, Maelstrom just... Uh, did, uh, I think, neutral right neutral in order to uh, not knock the person down, because why give them an uh, invulnerability when everyone's going to just shoot them down? See, they managed to roll out of the uh, way of the heat rod this time, but yeah, in addition to the uh, shield gatling, it has the uh, gatling underneath, which is uh, a sub-weapon. The shield gatling, of course, takes a while to reload, but is pretty powerful. Luckily, whatever that beam was did not... Uh, it must have been a friendly beam, because uh, Maelstrom did not take any damage from it. Good downswing there. That uh, that suit was clearly not ready for that. I think that was Full Armor Mark II from the Big Pointy Shield. I could be wrong. Good kill there. Yeah, this is going really well so far. Yeah, I, like I said, tried to run this a few times. Didn't, have any, uh, didn't make any really good progress. But... Uh, I, I may try it again, because it just, yeah, looks pretty good, and I think I've gotten a little bit better at lining up the uh, very linear heat rod uh, than, than I used to be, because a lot more things have it. Like I said, I think it does resolve itself a little bit slower than most things. Definitely slower than the uh, Giradoga at the same cost, but a uh, good kill there, too. Got the uh, prototype Stark Jagan out of the way. Looks like they have two supports this round, so yeah, uh, that's a good setup for uh for mail and yeah i i've mentioned this before but in case you had not uh, heard that or did not uh, know in gundam battle operation one when the goof custom shield broke you lost the gatling uh i sometimes i feel like that is a that could be an interesting mechanic to have back but also just the way you know they balance these things sometimes kind of precariously i feel like you know, being suddenly deprived of, of a weapon could be really bad, especially when it, I feel like it's easier for people to target shields now than it used to be. So, yeah, so, I, you know, I get it. Sometimes, sometimes just that, that you know, having that mechanic was uh, just interesting to me. But, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure if I, if we still had it, it would be more frustrating than interesting. But that's that's just how that goes. See, uh, Mal is just standing still. When you stand still, you do not show up on radar unless uh, someone has an active ping, like an Isaac or I believe the sonar of the uh, Domnomidus, something like that. So, yeah, Mal is currently invisible, and yeah, uh, until he starts moving again, no one will be able to see him. Now that the uh, enemy team is all facing the other direction. He's going to go, uh, move in behind them. So yeah, there are stealthy ways to play, even if your mobile suit does not have stealth. And also, uh, the standing still thing is a good thing to remember, because if you uh, have a smoke dispenser and you are waiting for your uh, uh, stealth to come back, if you stand still before it expires, that will probably uh, probably keep you alive. Oh, that is I think that's the uh, prototype Zeta gun, and not the... Uh, not a uh, full armor mark two. I didn't realize this uh, round was new enough to have that. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, that is what it is. Almost certain now. And yeah, that is the one that is just basically a very solid uh, basic suit as compo uh, compared to the mass production Zeta and its you know entertaining weirdness in terms of uh, skill set. Let's see, that person's about to drop. I think. Oh no. They're leaving their suit. Must have got the kill. Good downswing there. Yeah, the one thing 
The goof custom does not have the same melee pattern as most other goofs, whereas most, if not all, other goofs have a very strong, like, upward neutral swing. Uh, the goof custom's neutral swing is a just, like, uh, swing to the right across its chest and is very, very, uh, uh, very similar to the right, uh, to the, you know, swing to the right. So it's, uh, it takes a little bit of adapting if you're expecting something like the other goofs. But it's not, it's not a bad melee pattern. Again, it just, you, you just have to remember you've got something different. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like... Yeah, Maelstrom is uh, putting himself out front, I think, in the hopes of uh, getting some shots in. He's pretty low on health, and it's a pretty, you know, big point disparity, so can afford to uh, be a little bit bold here. And, yeah, managing to uh, get some good shots in from a distance on at least a couple of supports. Yeah, the build stun is working fairly well for him, it looks like. And, let's see, it looks like the uh, Proto Zeta managed to catch him this time, but... Ah, with a combination of a boost and a, uh, okay, good hit on two different suits there, yeah. So, but yeah, with a combination of a boost to the side and a tackle, he managed to hold it still long enough to, uh, get some extra damage in. And yeah, that, that Proto Zeta and that, uh, uh, Nemo 3 both, uh, took a fair amount of damage, so, yeah. Minute and a half to go, solid lead, and team's a little bit spread out, so the, the enemy team you know, can probably pick off a couple of individuals here. But now that everybody's ready to spawn back in before that uh, person, uh, before this person who was in the back in the MTX gets uh, uh, overrun, that, uh, you know, may not be, may not be able to uh, make up as much as I thought they might. I kind of thought they were going to have time to do that, but everybody was just ready to get back in there. So that is, that is for the best. Let's see, support fire about to happen. Not sure who it's on, but oh, that was probably unfortunate. No, it looks like the person behind Maelstrom did not end up taking the uh, uh, the, taking the heavy stagger from the heat rod. That's the good news. Yeah, somebody knocked him down. Um, let's see, but yeah, a couple of good targets here if he can uh, put the bullets where they belong, because there's a good number of things that are low on health. However, that uh, Proto Zeta is kind of. Uh, rushing him a little bit, so that is a different, uh, different situation. Okay, that Zaki machinery's down. And that was a miss on the Proto Zeta. That was not a miss on the Proto Zeta. That was good damage. And boom. Okay, that was a kill. And that was also a knockdown, but with as little time as is left, I don't think that's terrible. And yeah, last second death, but that is, uh, that is a good round. Yeah, I like the look of this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I hadn't really tried it at 500 because a lot of times that doesn't work out. You know, higher uh, uh, higher levels of things at, at costs. But yeah, he did great. 4850 out of 12,000. 140,000 damage. Really, 8 and 2. Really nice. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And speaking of things I've probably mentioned before, uh, early next year we are going to get uh, a special wave of G-Frame uh, based around 8th MS team. I believe it's going to have the Easy 8, the Gundam Ground, and either the Gundam Ground Gym Head or the uh, Gym Ground, and a, a uh, redo of the Guff Custom, which it was, you know, in the original G-Frame assortments and is kind of rare and expensive now and since this is g-frame fa it'll have slightly better uh armor the the uh earlier g-frame figures had hollow armor on the backs of the uh, upper arms and legs so yeah fa sorted that out it's much nicer and uh given that the uh old ms and action guff custom was very very limited in its articulation i am perfectly happy to uh, be getting a new one of those